why networkers home i'm a btech graduate so i joined networkers home in bangalore i came here with the uh, intention like um, to build a career in electricity so i found a way if you are studying something and applying it to the uh, real situation or practical labs that will get you more interest how networkers home is different from any other training institute in my experience dream come true whatever you type in your resume that will be asked tell your story and make it possible How does it feel when dedication meets success? Welcome to Voices of Victory, a special series from Networkers Home where we share real success stories of our students who gets placed in companies. So today I am joined by Yadu Krishna, one of our student who has recently secured a role at Alakriti Consults. So first of all, congratulations to you and thank you for joining us today. Thank you sir. Okay so to begin with the first thing i want to know is and the viewers want to know is about your background before joining networkers home so my name is yadu krishnan i'm a btech graduate in electronics and communication engineering after my graduation i developed an interest in networking so i joined networkers home in bangalore okay so i enrolled in uh, ccna plus ccnp then i completed my module modules and everything after the technical sessions i cleared the mock then got an opportunity to attend the interview okay great so what motivated you to pursue a career in networking i am also a diploma holder in uh, electronics so we had a practical sessions like um, uh, crimping and everything mm -hmm. and cabling the uh, pcs together so from there i am uh, motivated to i am more interested in networking so i found a way to pursue that course mm -hmm. so then i came here with the uh, intention like um, to build a career in networking so that's motivation so i searched for uh, several uh, uh, institutes mm -hmm. but i got up with the uh, networkers home because of the placement and so so many students are uh, came out from this institute and placed well so i took a chance like a more securable okay you were looking for more secure option yeah okay so that was what brought you to networkers home yes so what do you think how networkers home is different from any other training institute so here we can uh, repeat the co course modules mm -hmm. with any trainers you want so make sure uh, we can make sure that every module is covered and every details will be involved so apart from that uh, the labs were good the technical sessions were very very good mm -hmm. also the communication classes will uh, give you the more confidence so that's i think it will be okay so there are so many people right now watching you live right so how was your journey can you explain bit about your journey how you started a networker so on what modules you started what modules you study and how was your experience about them so I completed the CCNA first, then uh, go on going to the routing and switching modules. So, at first I have some uh, difficulties to understand the topic and everything. You would think. So, but the recording sessions were uh, help them help me to cover all the all the details, okay. all the informations and everything. Most of them were good only, but lab sessions make me uh, more. Uh, depth in knowledge mm -hmm. so you have to uh, do that to like um, after the routing and switching you have to do it in uh, practical sessions mm -hmm. then only you can get the in, uh, information uh, in in depth only correct then uh, then they will pro provide the st1 and automation sessions also so that will make you more updated and upskilled okay so which part of your training you like most I like the practical sessions only mm -hmm. because I am the result oriented is most I thought about of getting something. Mm -hmm. So the uh, if you are studying something and applying it to the uh, real situation or practical labs, that will get you more interesting. And so after the result came, you will get something to <laughs> pull off. Okay, great. That means you're just talking about the output. Yes. Okay. output of your efforts yes 
how Networkers Home helped you to land into this job opportunity? So after clearing my mock, uh, the Networkers Home uh, arranged a job fair in, uh, in the institute only. Mm -hmm. So the company came here and selected eight of the people from the more cleared people. Mm -hmm. So from that only I got placed. So thanks to Integrates Home. Could you tell us about like, you know, how your interview process was? Like how many rounds were there and what kind of questions you faced in the interview? So uh, I have uh, two rounds were there. So in the first session, HR and Inkel was combined with. Mm -hmm. So two persons were sitting and asking about the questions and everything. In my experience, like um, uh, whatever you type in your resume, that will be asked uh, usually. So make sure that your skill set is, uh, you can something explain to. After the HR and English sessions, I got selected and going to the uh, second round. Okay. So they are, they are checking the character and attitude of the mm -hmm. candidate. Make sure your uh, character and attitude will be positive and everything. Mm -hmm. So tell your story and make it possible. Okay. So what kind of questions, you know, the people who are watching, right? The mm -hmm. people who have never attended any interviews. So what do you think? What kind of questions they should prepare for to clear an interview? Or what kind of topics we can say? Yeah. So mostly as the as a fresher, they, they will ask uh, from the fundamentals only. Mm -hmm. CCNA fundamentals, like um, routing and switching everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, topics like OSI, TCP, mostly headers and uh, in routing side like uh, uh, OSPF, EIGRP and switching side like um, VLAN, STP. Mm -hmm. These topics will be mostly everyone will be asked. Mm -hmm. So make sure that your fundamentals is good then attend the interview. What is your current role and can you tell us more about your company? I am selected in uh, Alakradi consoles. So my role is a network and uh, network engineer in the in fresher. Mostly they will be dealing with the data center and, uh, and DR and DC mm -hmm. more portions. So it mostly working with the field work or something like that. So we have to work for the clients and everything. So That's how do you feel about it getting placed? When I got an opportunity, it's like a dream come true. That's really nice. Yeah, a dream coming true is really very nice actually. Yes. Okay, you feel so relaxed, so relieved. Yeah, and you know, there are so many people who are just thinking about it. So what would you suggest those people who are just thinking about, you know, getting a job, but not making enough efforts or, you know, getting demotivated just because of uh, another rejection. So what would you suggest those people? If you are demotivated, like um, after a rejection or something like that, do attend so many interviews or like uh, here in NH, like mock, mock interviews are there. So attend as possible more interviews mm -hmm. so you can get the confidence to attend and trainers will be helping you with the various you are lacking and everything so go for it uh, then only you can make it how was your overall experience with networkers home it's good only because of the without networkers home i think my job will not be uh, still in process mm -hmm. so they help me a lot uh, my friends are there, they're also helping uh, with a helping hand. Mm -hmm. So after revising everything and everything, anything, uh, it will be a uh, result oriented thing only. So revise your modules and everything and attend more mock interviews. Then only you can get the result. Great. What suggestion do you have for the viewers, for the current student, for the future students? your friends and fellows who are still here and preparing for the upcoming jobs. You have to, you don't wait for completing any modules in, in the series. After routing and switching and uh, clearing your fundamentals and everything, you can go for uh, mock, mock interviews and everything. So you can make it possible. So any last words for your trainers and networkers home, definitely. Every trainer was uh, like, uh, uh, helping and uh, with the uh, very much uh, information to give. So um, uh, from the start, uh, CCNA, I, uh, I have taken the with the uh, Jethin only. And then Nigin sir, Sanjay sir, Arun sir, and Ajay sir. 
so these uh, these were the to- uh, trainers were i am very much used to it mm-hmm. like um, like i i had a lot of information or knowledge or helping hands mm-hmm. and everything in the technical sessions arun sir and sanjay sir very much helpful and everything mm-hmm. so after that hr and so and uh, clara will be there for uh, your to boost up your confidence and everything so all the network team uh, i thank you for everything all right okay so it was really nice to have you here and you know students got a lot of insights from you a lot of information from you and i hope they are also getting motivated by looking at your video okay so once again congratulations to you on your success and thank you for joining us today okay thank you sir so this was yet another success story another episode of voices of victory and i wish in the next episode i have you guys because here at nipworker so we try that every single student gets success so i hope i see you the next sitting in front of me do like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications to see more of such success stories and i'll see you guys in the next episode take care